Hey, my name is James Flint, and today I'm going to show you how to add uh, tracks from a CD into your iTunes. Uh, this is important to know because uh, that way you can both have music stored on your computer and play it instead of having to have the CD every time, or you can put music from a CD on your computer and then copy it onto your iPod. So I've got a CD here. I'm just going to insert it into the drive and launch iTunes. And you'll notice over here in our, our panel on the left that the CD is going to pop up in just a second. All right. Okay. So iTunes has now pulled this, uh, all the tracks up from the CD. And a pretty cool thing about iTunes is that it connects with the Internet and a database on the Internet to find a lot of the track names. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time so you don't have to go in and manually enter all of the names. So it's asking me, would I like to import the CD? Um, if I said yes, it would import the whole CD. But uh, for example purposes, we're just going to import a couple songs. So I'm going to highlight a couple songs and drag them over to my music library. Now, as you'll see in the top panel, it's uh, importing and it's giving me the song title. And it's going to do this for both songs. There's a little orange motion icon that will pop up next to the track. And that's to indicate that it's actually importing the song. Um, and when it's done, as you see here, we got about 20 seconds left. It'll put a little green mark next to it so that you know that this song is already imported into your iTunes. You know, it's, it's important to know how to do just one song as opposed to the whole CD because you know, there may be an album that you only want to hear a few songs off of. So it's kind of good to know both methods. And since this is a little more complicated than just importing the whole CD by clicking on Import CD, I wanted to show you this method. So. Uh, this band is called the Chemical Brothers, so when we're done and we have uh, both green check marks, we'll be able to go into our music library and under Chemical Brothers we should have these new songs. So it's about Im done importing. Let's go on over and look at that. iTunes already wanted to start playing these songs, so here they are. So that is a simple method of adding songs from a CD into iTunes.